Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Naquan Jordan, the AI protagonist, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Leonardo AI Live Canvas. So it is now in early access, but since I'm a pro member of Leonardo AI, I'm able to jump into the Live Canvas. It is exactly what you think it would be. You basically start drawing and Leonardo will update the drawing using AI. So the different settings we have, I got it on real time right now. There is real time and interactive mode. Interactive mode is just a little bit slower than real time, but they're both pretty much the same. And the preset I'm going to have it on is cinematic, but as you can see, there's a ton of different presets that you can have it on. And that's just to control the prompt that you would type in. The creative strength, we're gonna be playing with that a little bit as we draw. Over here is the brush settings. They got the select tool, the erase tool, the add image tool, and then the brush tool itself. This is where you change the color of the brush. And this is the brush size. And of course, if you wish to clear the canvas, you would click on the trash can right here. So we're gonna start off with a little drawing. I'm going to do some very simple drawings. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on blue. And actually let me get rid of that right there so we're going to start off i'm going to draw a woman singing but i'm going to do it with like a stick figure so i'm going to start with a head a very oval type head uh, i'm going to just add the body um i guess i can have the hand just kind of doing that Doing something really basic like that, add some hair. So as you can see, it is already starting to do something in the live canvas even before I start using the prompt. I am going to change colors here and see if I can create like a uh, like a microphone. Um, what color should I use for that? I should use black. Actually, no, black probably wouldn't even show up with this canvas. So I'll just go with, um, I'll just go with red. So we're just gonna draw like a red microphone in her hand. Okay, and I don't know if I should add any eyes or anything like that. I might not need to. Now it's just, uh, I'll draw like one eye here and little mouth as a smile. Okay, so there is my incredible drawing. And now let me put the prop in. Anime woman singing. And there we go. So just like that, we can see that it does kind of look like what I drew as far as the actual, um, the pose itself. If we change their creativity, so if I pull it all the way down like this, you can see that it gets closer and closer to the actual image that I drew. But as I go up, it goes farther and farther away and gets closer to the prompt that I put in. And if we go all the way up to the top, it looks completely different from what I drew, but it is closer to what I actually put in the prompt. So we're going to bring that down a little bit. Actually, that might be good enough. So this is, um, this is something that I can of course fix with the refiner. We got the creative refine up here. I am going to use, yeah, I'll go with the creative. So I'm gonna use creative refine and go ahead and hit that. So I do have to check my personal feed to see what that looks like. And that's gonna take a few seconds to actually refine. But that is basically how you use the software. It's very easy to use. Of course, if you can actually draw on a computer, then you would do much better stuff than what I'm doing here. But I will, I will erase this and actually start something new. And while I'll do that, I'll check and see what the new image looks like. And here is the final image. So this is the refined image. And so you can see it looks pretty good. Uh, it looks like she's got two microphones there. So I would have to um, fix that. I can actually refine it a little bit more. But besides that, it looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than I thought. She does have too many fingers. So once again, I'd have to do a full resign, um, 
refine in order to fix that. But you can actually do deeper refines while you're here looking at the image just to see what it does to actually fix everything. And here is the high smooth refine. And you can see it does fix a lot of the fingers. When you, uh, when you do a, a actual smooth refine, it does fix things like fingers and faces and stuff like that. So this was just a little bit of a stick figure. And so it's kind of cool that I was able to create that just from a stick figure drawing. All right, so now it's time to do a new drawing. So I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna do um, more of like an actual close up this time. And I'm gonna just do a profile. So I'll do like a profile image of a woman. And you can see it's already starting to create something on the right. I haven't actually put a prompt in yet. So it's just doing all kinds of random stuff. So we'll keep it there. And I'm going to turn the prop into Cyberpunk Woman. And there we have our output. So you can see with the creativity strength, it does look um, at least the pose looks almost exactly like what I drew. But if I bring that up a little bit more, you can see it looks a lot less like it. There are different styles that I can use. And if I click on one, it actually changes it automatically to the new style, which is really cool. Which is one of the reasons why I do like this, uh, this real time setting because it, you don't have to wait to go through all of these. It would normally take me several, several minutes just switching through different styles to see what I like best. So I'm gonna stick with this anime one, but I do want it to have the same pose. So I'm gonna go with that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on Creative Refine, and it's going to refine that in the background and I'll be able to check that in my personal feed. And here is the finished result. So it looks, of course, a hundred times better than what I actually drew, but it's still pretty cool that all I did was draw like a little, a very crude drawing and it completely copied the pose for me. So it does give you a lot more flexibility over what you can do with this cool, this cool new software. So there are some extra things you can do, like there is a output to input. And what that does is it takes the output and switches it over to the input. And so you can see it just does that right there. Um, for some reason lately, it has not been taking up the full screen. Instead, it just has this little box. Not entirely sure why that's happening. Hopefully it's just a glitch that they're going to fix. But as you can see, I can just resize it to fit the window. But of course, if you actually wanted to do something smaller, like maybe you just want to draw a bunch of different fractions of a full image, then you can draw the little bit and then hit the output to input and put that square wherever you like and then do the rest of the image. So you can actually do a lot of things with that. And they do have this add image button. So you have all, this is all the stuff that I've uploaded or have done with image to image. You can see some pictures of myself there. And I have my generations, so you're gonna have um, all the stuff that you've generated in Leonardo. You have the community feed, which is gonna include the people that you're following. Or actually, this is just the community. This is the people that you're following in the follower feed. So you can add any of these to the um, uh, to the actual input canvas here and then you can draw on it, you can erase stuff, add stuff, do all kinds of different cool things. So that is pretty much it for Leonardo AI Live Canvas. It's actually really cool. It's still got some bugs, some kinks that they're working out, but it is amazing seeing how you can so quickly generate AI images and the, the way that you can have so much more control over your image with actual drawings means there is a bright future for AI. So if you have any questions or if there's any other features that you want me to check out, just go ahead, leave me in the comments below. 
As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. You're